What's good guys, it's your girl Keisha Ariel and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be sharing with you Jaden's 7 month lock update with his 2 strand twist starter locks. So let's get into it. Okay, so in this video, Jaden is 7 months along his 2 strand twist lock journey and I am currently preparing his starter locks for his wash day. So that means I am going through each of his starter locks to remove all the lint and debris. Now, seven months into Jaden's lock journey, I've been noticing that some of his starter locks have started to curve or bend. Now, I am not sure why this is happening, but from what I've observed, it seems as though some of the frizzing loose hairs have started tangling and intertwining itself on other parts of his starter locks, which then pull the lock into a curve. However, to get the curve or bend out of his starter locks, I will be using my pintail comb to loosen and separate the hairs from his locks. Then I'll go ahead and elongate and stretch his locks. And here you can see there is still a little curve or bend so I will just be separating the hair with my fingers and continue to stretch the lock. So after removing any potential buildup and straightening out his curved locks, I will proceed to the second step of his wash day routine by applying shampoo to his scalp and massaging it into both his hair and scalp to disrupt and loosen any dirt from the surface of his head. So after washing his hair, I will be oiling his scalp and moisturizing his starter locks with my Here We Grow Hair Oil and Moisturizing Hair Butter. Once I've finished oiling and moisturizing his hair and scalp, I proceeded to retwist in his starter locks using the Styling Dreads Molding Gel Wax. And remember that with this product, a little goes a very long way. So you do not need to use a lot. So once I've finished retwisting his starter locks, I left his hair to air dry for a few hours. And here is a look at his locks once they are dry. And as we can see, we still have some frizz which is absolutely normal and will eventually smooth out as he continues along his lock journey. And also, the ends of his locks are looking blunted as expected. Now if you're interested to know how to ensure your lock ends are blunted or rounded as you continue along your lock journey, then go ahead and check the cards listed above for more details. Remember to go ahead and check the cards listed above as well as in the description bar below for similar videos like this one. And if you found today's video very helpful, then please be sure to like, comment, share and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. So until next week Sunday at 5pm, we will be right back here with another video.